there's tremendous advantages to uh, uh, doing a 2D conversion versus shooting a, a stereoscope ori original for a lot of shows. And the main advantage is you can you have much more freedom to z design your stereo and what's going on with your stereo. You can expand it and collapse it during a scene in a way that you never could with a camera because, of course, you never know when, when you're shooting exactly where the cuts are going to be and what, you, what you're going to transition to. But there's a lot more creative scope when you're doing a conversion because you can actually um, manipulate it in, in a de to a degree that there's no way that you could uh, um, with the live action footage. When you shoot something in binocular stereo, you're more or less stuck with the parameters that you shot with. You can slide the scene forward and backward, but that's more or less it. When in a conversion, you can do almost anything. And we can depart significantly from reality, and we can do things like, uh, in a far background, create a lot more stereo depth than, than there could ever really be shot without seriously miniaturizing the scene and get away with it. When we analyze uh, um, 2D footage and uh, uh, build our 3D depth, we're doing essentially what the future of a, a motion picture camera should be doing, except for we're doing it the dumb, stupid way an expensive way, uh, but it's the only way, of course, that we have to, available to do it. For every technology that humankind has ever created has, has specific limits built into it that uh, we learn to master and we learn to, to work with uh, to, to create a pleasing result. Uh, a pencil is a technology, and the limitations of a pencil can inspire one in, you know, in how one draws, uh, you know, that one can only erase things in a certain way. Um, that you know has a particular line quality. One of the things about 3D conversion to remember is is, is it's not actually that difficult on a technical level. It's it, uh, and, and of course people don't really want to hear this. They w want to hear that there's a magic button that you push that, that just makes it happen. You know you feed money in and push a magic button, but that's actually not the case. What it what it's really about is it's doing a special purpose visual effects um, for every shot in the show, and it has to be done on time, on budget, usually to a very tight schedule, and it's all about craftsmanship within the time and space allotted. So it's really a management task more than it is a technical issue.